Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I actually want to make a discussion about Abel um, in The Walking Dead the Fall Season. So we don't really know that much about Abel. Um, he could be possibly a pedophile from the Sophie Minerva um, situation where everyone has been theorizing that he's possibly a pedophile. But yeah, basically I want to talk about like more into like who he is and like is he basically dead or alive. So that's something I want to talk about just now and um, in episode 1 of the finals of the of Dumb Running, we can see that Abel came in, tried to grab the food, and he wasn't really exactly friendly. He just wanted to take the food and leave. He was pointing a gun at Clementine and AJ. I guess he could say for survival reasons, but considering the point at kids, you know, Clem's like 17 or whatever, um, it's kind of like, you know, kind of like iffy. And I think, and then Abel could also mention that, do you have a group? And that's interesting because I think it's possible that he's with the Raiders group because it'd be kind of weird for like a man to walk alone, especially since Brody later in the episode mentioned about the rude, creepy looking fella. So I think that's a, like a strong possibility that he's like connected with the Raiders group and that's something I want to mention about the Raiders group because we really don't know nothing about it. We just know about Abel who was basically in episode 1 and we don't know that much about it. We just know they had Sophie and Minerva and they wanted to take Clem and AJ. That's something I want to talk about. And something else that I want to talk about um, in episode 1 is, is Abel dead or alive? Because there are two choices you can make which are pretty big ones. You can push Abel out of the window and then walkers will grab him and then after that you can hear gunshots apparently and that's that's something to keep in mind, and keep in mind of, there's gunshots. Or the other approach is basically Abel can leave for the food, walk out quietly, nothing bad happens. You just, you just, you were just friendly with him. You basically didn't kill him, quote, quote, quote. So that's something I want to talk about because, um, with Abel, we really thought he was like pretty much dead, but it seems like he could be possibly alive and it would be really cool if Abel, he, um, I'm guessing with the choice, if you hit him at the window, he's obviously going to hate Clem and Adrian more and possibly be more like a villain towards them. He doesn't really look like a villain villain type guy, but I feel like he'll be like one of the main issues in episode 2 that if we see him, which again, which I think we will. So that's something I want to talk about because in episode 1, Clem mentioned to Bodhi that I'm pretty sure he said like Walker's pretty much got him. They felt so confident saying that they acted like, oh he's for sure dead, don't worry about it. I think that's pretty much hinting that, oh he's alive, you're, you're wrong Clem. So, that's something else I want to talk about because they were pretty much confident with Abel being alive, uh, being dead I mean, and Abel's obviously alive. So about Abel, he's like really mean and he's smoking a lot of Bible cigarettes, that's something I want to mention. Um, definitely the type of smoker guy and he ruined the traps in episode 1 in the forest or at the fishing rod place, um, fishing lake, whatever they call it. Um, they ruined that also and it really shows you that there was like a disagreement with the Raiders group. It really showed you that, hey, there's a disagreement. Um, we're having an issue. I'm wondering how Marlon knew about giving um, up Clement AJ. Like, did he knew from the start? Is there like a time goal like hint that they are supposed to do it? That's something I'm wondering about because we really don't know about like how it works and like was it supposed to be like yearly? Because they gave away Sophie and Minerva like around the same year as uh, basically a whole year almost because it's been yearly and now it's Clement AJ's turn was Marlon was was Marlon gonna slowly like you know take away like some of the kids and hope that something like good happens now Marlon's plan was to apparently make a rescue group um to rescue them so it could be possible that Marlon knew that they weren't dead per se but it could be possible that maybe Marlon knew that um could be possible that Marlon knew that there was a way to rescue them, like it was possible, but he just was too scared to rescue them, which is kind of like a wimpy thing for Marlon to say and not do, because he just gave up two of his people, and he just lied to his whole group that they were killed by walkers, which is pretty sad. Now something else I want to talk about is the possible leader of the race group. Now I know in the story build thing, it showed um, a Lily back choice, cho it basically showed previous Lily choices, which I think is basically hinting that she's basically the returning character, so obviously we don't know if it's confirmed yet, obviously, but I think it's pretty likely that it's Lily, pretty much, because I think it's just obvious. Um, unless it's somehow Krista, then <laughs> then that theory is out of the bag, but I think it's Lily, because why would they add Lily choices in the backstory and not make this a fact? 
Like, we did not see those choices get affected in episode 1, so obviously they're gonna get affected in episode 2. And we will have to see the Victorian character in episode 2 because I feel like it makes sense, like, introduce Freya's group, and if Lily's like the leader, show her obviously the Victorian character and talk to Clementine. That would be interesting as well. Maybe, I'm really hoping they're doing something different, like not do the whole Kenny thing because they show Kenny in episode 2 of season 2 and they pretty much like showed them being happy. I think Clem will have a mixed reaction seeing Lily because Lily was pretty close to I, with Coralie and I think she was closer with Doug as well. So seeing Lily back, um, seeing that she was basically kicked out or possibly taken the OV, Clem's probably not that happy with it but I'm fine with Lily. Obviously what she did was wrong but I just want to see that bond with them because obviously Lily had right instincts that so there was obviously a trade in the group but could just doing that was obviously not okay so that's just something I wanted to mention. Um, why would she want these kids in the group? I don't know because Abel was so interested in Sophie and Minerva, the way this group at least. I'm not sure what exactly they want um, exactly the group so that's just something I wanted to mention and hope you guys enjoyed and yeah. I know a lot of people mentioned that the walkers didn't have teeth in like the scene where Abel gets chomped off by the walkers. Um, so I know that's probably not gonna matter, um, they're probably just gonna do something and just make him alive episode 2, but something else that someone has been saying is that they hope that um, Abel has an amputated arm, that maybe he got bit in the arm and then he went back to the group and then he cut it off. That would be really interesting to see because it would really sound realistic, but just making him just pissed off in episode 2, like I want that also, but if he's just gonna be pissed off and he has basically plot armor in a way where nothing happened to him then that's pretty much dumb because they should at least do something where he looks different because in reality he should have got bit and obviously we heard the gunshots and yeah that's just something I wanted to mention briefly and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, subscribe if you enjoyed really loved making these videos and I'll see you guys in the next Walking Into the Final Season video.